Okay, I have. I am back again. Don't worry. These are all technical yes, thing. Many times it happens. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, everybody? Thank you. Ah, Sangeeta is good. Okay, right. Now there are certain principles that you need to follow when you ask your uh, sports clients to set the goal. We'll start from here. Okay. <laughs> Then uh, oh, there are certain uh, definite. Things that you need to, we call it uh, Sapta Sutra Guru. Okay, Sapta Sutra Guru. We call it Sapta Sutra Guru. There are seven principles that you need to keep in mind if you want to set goal for your sports activities. One that you need to set a major goal, and once you set a major goal, that you need to follow it. Then once you set a goal, and when you start. you will have to finish what with the, what you start with that is another principle you should keep in mind the third one is socialize with other similar interests because there are so many other participants and you need to socialize with the similar interests when you are when you are in the field then this is a must for you another basic principle is learn how to learn this is another basic principle uh, in goal setting learn how to learn is the principle this one harmonize natural talent with interest that motivate you can't go by your choices you need to go by the talents which are existing in the client not with you madam send madidini madam or left load madidini sixth one increase 17th okay give it to me that area which inspires <laughs> you to continue with that <laughs> then the <laughs> last illa madidini madam Yeah. You need to take a risk in reaching your goal. So these are Sir, the sutra sutra goal. Principles le, 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 le. that you should keep in mind to reach the goal, and when you set goal to reach. Sorry. Okay. Now we'll see what is it. Knowledge in any field, for that matter, helps you to reach your destination, provided that you know. what your destiny is unless you Amen. know what your destiny is it is very difficult for you to reach the goal so keep your eyes upon goal then think about the destination that is your goal then start functioning okay how do we do it i was talking to you about the goals uh, how is it? there are some people you should have a dream they say now what is the difference between the goals and dreams many people when they talk they talk about dreams no. i dream to become that i dream to become that i dream to achieve this okay now dream is different and once you set the goal and achieving goal is a different thing what is the difference see normally if we get confused with people get confused with the uh, goals and dreams i'm telling you dreams and goals a very different thing dreams and wish are nothing more than desires dreams and go dreams are just wishes just wishes and all wishes need not be uh, fulfilled it's a desire that desires are weak many people we desire for so many thing but we don't deserve so dreams are like desire gayatri madam any problem with you gayatri madam nothing sir gayatri madam nothing sir you are fine no i thought you have some headache or something like this no sir no 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 problem okay no sir in that case you can take a rest nothing to worry okay desires are weak whereas goals are very strong desires become strong when they are supported by the goal setting principles what are those goal setting principles we take five days in concentration which many of you know one we call direction two you need to have the dedication three you need to have determination four the discipline and fifth the deadlines so these are the five days that you need to practice you need to understand this only then it is possible for anyone to reach the goal okay goals are dreams with a deadline and an action plan 
this is how we need to see and uh, there are many times it happens people don't set goals they start with okay let me start first let us see what can i do how far i can reach now this should not happen even if it is a short term goal small goal you should set the goal then reach that goal that is important that makes you to make you to reach and function effectively towards reaching the goal okay we do not have the pessimistic approach to any goal set uh, already set goals and all now what is this pessimistic attitude towards setting goal now we try to see always the negative things in situations we have heard in the earlier for hockey players very particularly shoes were not given for cricket players the bats were not of good quality like this we keep on telling things you know we have a specific how can you be there how can we do that i mean even every game for that matter when they participate in olympics one or the other problems will be there but they focus on that including our indian cricket team they have their own problems although they have lot of funds but they still have their own problems okay but you should not have a pessimistic attitude towards the goal that you have set now uh, we need to win this world cup we need to win these things so that goal has to be there in your mind not with a pessimistic attitude and why this pessimistic attitude comes to your mind is if the lack of goal setting is there then the fear of failure also you can see that what is this fear of failure ಯುದ್ಧಕ್ಕೆ ಮುನ್ನ ಶಸ್ತ್ರ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೇಲಿಯರ್ ಅನ್ನು ಯುದ್ಧಕ್ಕೆ ಮುನ್ನ ಶಸ್ತ್ರ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳುವುದು ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೇಲಿಯರ್ ಅಂದರೆ ವೈ ಡ್ಯೂ ವರಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಫೇಲಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೂ ಯುವರ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪುಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿನ್ ಆರ್ ಲೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಾದರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗೋಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಯು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಓಕೆ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೇಲಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ people feel in their subconscious mind that if they don't set the goal and if they don't make it then they have failed they went failed so this is how they think about it. but i tell you failures are the beginners are they begin from there where the failure starts from there you start getting the success because you are aware of the failure and once you are aware that means you are towards reaching your goal okay then second one why people fail in setting the goal lack of ambition maadana bidi innu dura ide our meet is still in yes to innu naak tingle ide meet madu okay so like this we have postponing things okay lack of the some sorry lack of ambition maadana bidi sir adin sir maadana bidi sir practice maadana bidi sir four hours practice morning four hours evening four hours four hours practice maadana bidi sir no it's not that lack of ambition is a result of our value system lack of desire to live a fulfilled life this is important if i am a sportsman i need to experience that yes i am a, a fully satisfied fulfilled sportsman not just because somebody tells you not because you are a player of some game it's not that which makes you a sports person you need to have set your value system only then you can think of becoming or reaching the goal what you want and many times what happens is our limited thinking prevents us from progress there sir our struggle sir namke lagala sir it is not possible how can i reach that you know there are people who have done wonders including physically handicapped you must have seen you must have seen you know so you uh, it depends on you what is it that you want anyway there is a small story you can uh, read that and you can understand let us go to another factor why people don't set goals here there i have explained you fear of failure you have seen fear of failure now i am telling you about fear of rejection many people i tell you when they come for selections they get rejected because of this fear of rejection okay you have selection agli illa andre hege if i don't get selected what next i have all the skills 
I have all the ability, but there is a selection tomorrow. What if I fail tomorrow in the selections? If the if the selection committee rejects me, what to do? So this is another one which uh, makes to the uh, people to not to set the goal. Okay. Then the fifth principle is procrastination. There is a beautiful song like this, but still it talks about reaching the goal. Everybody knows about this procrastination. Ham honge kam yaap. But the next sentence is very interesting. Ek din. Okay. Ham honge kam yaap ek din. Kab? Kis din par? You need to be very settled. Fix things. Okay. No question of procrastination. You should not postpone things. Don't tell I'll do it tomorrow. Don't tell that I'll do it in the afternoon. Don't tell that I'll do it in the evening. Now there is an opportunity for you. Just do it. That is it. No question of procrastination when you talk about goal setting. Okay. Some day will not help you. It will not set my goals. Like you know, it's not like that. You need to do it just then and there. Okay. There is another thing we call it. Low self-esteem is another factor which hinders into your goal setting. Any idea about low self-esteem? Any, uh, any? I know physical education teachers they talk about psychology also. Low self-esteem. Any idea? Anybody can contribute with this? Low self-esteem. No confidence. Okay. Doesn't believe in himself. Very good. It's not himself. His potentials. Okay. Very good. Yes. Very good. Very good. Next. One more. One more. One more response. Maybe he is thinking. Maybe he is thinking that he is not fitting in that particular group. Yeah. Very always good. He, always he thinking negative thoughts. Yes. 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 Sir, you are right. Now look at this. Low self-esteem because a person is not internally driven. A, this this is under ki baat hai, no? Driven internally driven. We call it intrinsic motivation. Otherwise, when you study in the context of when you study in the context of motivation, you talk in terms of this because the person is not internally driven and has no inspiration to do the task. So he feels low esteem. What if I fail? Okay, so let me not do these things. So this is how he starts talking about. It's a belief about himself. It's a belief about. is positive and negative thing so if the positive things are very strong then i think one can fulfill the conditions now the seventh one ignorance of the importance of the goals people set goals many times but they will not be knowing what the goals mean for them okay nobody taught them they never learned the importance of goal setting but you people as sports person you should definitely know the importance of goal setting unless now we we have these things you need to complete 100 meters within this period only then you will qualify for this event you need to throw the, the throw ball or the disc or whatever now there is a, a minimum remark a minimum qualifying mark that you need to qualify only then you can you are eligible so at least you should tell you are students who are into the field the minimum goal set has to be given first you should make them aware of this okay that is how they start knowing only then you will be qualified otherwise it is not possible for you to qualify so practice for this then achieve in the future the eighth one we call it as lack of knowledge about the goal setting this is this is the major problem i know goal setting sir but what are the principles in order many times people will not be knowing and people do not know how the mechanics of goal setting functions how the mechanics of goal setting works how the goal mechanics of goal setting functions in an individual to achieve the things and they need a step by step guide so that they can follow a system and you are there to help them to reach step by step there goal will you agree with me you are there as coaches yes thank you so this is how we need to be in terms of coaches in terms of physical education teachers we need to be aware of this and all these things we call it as attitude 
we call this as attitude i tell you when you are there in the sports field i see the highest discipline among our students it is only the discipline which brings attitude and this attitude takes you to success where there is no discipline then when there is no positive attitude it is impossible to win any event for that matter so what is this attitude let us see how how it can be interpreted here attitude in this context in the sports context can be understood as productive use of the resources available and many times we complain about this sir i could have definitely completed the the, the target within time but i don't have the spike shoe the recent one this is very old sir on the mull hog bit ide sir idralli how can i run with this okay so look at this it's it's an attitude whatever is minimum resources that are available and you know in our indian context it is very difficult i know how difficult it was for us to get to one uh, fiber uh, ground in chamundi uh, stadium it is very difficult to get the uh, facilities that what we expect and it is not that easy finance and other things so whatever minimum things which are available we need to prove ourselves that is your mindset your attitude attitude again matters reference refers here increased efficiency and output with all these deficiencies what is my goal what is that i need to do i need to do that think about that then you think about the achievement of goal what if i achieve the goal what i am going to get out of this one medal or what is it that i am going to get another attitude concept in this sports field is development of friendly relationships nowadays we don't find very difficult to find this especially in some sports okay you know after every game both the person who wins and who loses in any event for that matter they shake hands they hug they say good luck you know, before playing also even after uh, losing okay they extend their hand for their support but sometimes there are people who are aggressive they become very aggressive no we need to develop a friendly relationship winning and losing is only that in that particular situation not otherwise whereas the development of friendly relationship is your whole personality so please tell your students to develop the personality not winning and losing reaching goal is not just winning or winning or losing it is development of the whole holistic individual personality i'm talking about okay then stability of your workforce i don't know uh, how much really they work but there is a it's a must elle pa hogide ant kadre workout hogide sir workout martta idde sir ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬೇರೆ ಕಡೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಅಂತ ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಸ್ಟೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಿ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ನೋಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಸೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ it should be measurable achievable realistic and time bound now let me not go into that details of that we'll just think what is this specific means there are people they this has become very interesting nowadays okay uh, do you see uh, uh, can you see these slides is it visible for you okay fine now see i am giving you setting goals the first one smart goals specific for example i want to lose weight. there are many people i i don't want i am perfectly fine i don't i am just telling you there are many people nowadays it has become a fashion also to lose weight okay it has become a fashion nowadays it's not from the health point of view people are aware of this now health point of view you see now uh, our kukrali lake otherwise you would have attended this program uh, you, you could have enjoyed this uh, uh, kukrali lake view also 
you go anywhere now nowadays everywhere people become people have become more uh, aware of their uh, health i would not use the health because they are not aware of the health they are aware of the structure they are worried about their structure you should not worry about the structure you should worry about the health if it is doing from the health point of view then it is fine okay if i want to lose then it's just a wishful thinking we call it and it becomes a goal when i pin myself down to i will lose 10 pounds in 90 days this is how you need to set the goal see setting goal is like this okay there there are otherwise people set goals this year i will not touch this this year i will not have this okay it will not help from next year i'll do no it will not help be specific if you want to achieve the goal and target okay the second one m it should be measurable they say any goal if it is not measurable then it is not a goal at all and if it is not measurable we cannot accomplish also and measurement is a way of monitoring our progress today what is my progress after one week what is my progress after 10 days what is my progress after one month this is where when olympic people went up uh, think they are setting their goal if you are participating for the olympic at least one year in advance two year in advance you start doing things because you have set the goal for olympics and it should be measurable not that the day of uh, my event i will achieve no you need this set and target and keep doing this okay this is why we call it as a measurable goal everything has to be it under measurable conditions the third one a goal must be achievable not just setting goal is important because there are some people they just keep very high goals and they fail and when they fail to reach the goal they quit so please remember set achievable goals achievable means what achievable means that it should be out of reach enough to be challenging but it should not be out of sight otherwise it becomes disheartening this is where for that lady which i showed you first it was out of sight and once it is out of sight if you cannot visualize goal if you cannot see the goal it is very difficult to reach the goal then fourth the realistic r r stands for realistic your goal should be realistic and this you know what happened a person who wants to lose 50 pounds in 30 days is being unrealistic it is not possible already 50 pounds na 50 pounds na you 30 days alli na there are some clubs they start telling these kind of things 30 days alli 10 kg galanna ilisthivi nimma weight anta there are some clubs like this there are some agencies like this they are running because people are crazy about reducing their weight now these people have come up it's not possible it's not it's not possible to reduce weight like this there is a systematic way to do things so it should be realistic what i mean is your goal should be realistic okay and it should be time bound the fifth one t talks about time bound there should be a starting time date time event and a finishing date if you set dates like this time like this only then it can be measurable okay somebody was telling when i asked about self esteem it's a confidence they said how do we understand this confidence how do we understand the self confidence of my student my athlete my hockey player my football player okay i think it's in two days we are seeing a football player had his self confidence level since last two days after his death who is that who is that rio Maradona. Maradona. Maradona, yes, a football player. Look at, now he is known for his confidence, his self-confidence. 
it is only because of his self confidence the, the last journey of his the last journey you should have seen i hope you, all of you have gone through see seen that uh, situation how his body was carried on and uh, the people how they responded to this okay it's because of his self confidence when he says that i am going to hit the goal it's the goal and about him there are very good articles since last one week i think probably you must have read this now what is this self confidence and why you should touch this as coaches or as teachers in the physical physical education department you need to enhance the self confidence of our students the self confidence of our sports personalities how do we do that okay how do we do that in a simple way count the good things not the negatives we have in psychology a learning process where we talk about stamp in and stamp out which means consider the good one okay consider and enhance improve the good moments of your event then overcome the negative events the errors okay errors have to be eliminated the right points have to be reinforced this is how we talk about okay this is where we talk about the good things not the negatives count only the good things above all think positively about yourself i do not know how many coaches really think positively about themselves how many of you think positively about yourself yeah one i could see smile smile ramesh ramesh sir madam sosa okay shailesh lohit yes sir yes gayatrama yeah this is what it is positive think positive or friend when you start thinking positively okay now your smile comes out it's very simple your smile comes out okay and learn from your experiences you should learn from your experiences first make your part your students your your sports person to learn from his or her experiences your experiences are different from his experience it's not necessary that what experiences you had the other person also should have the same experience not necessary it's not a binding okay so allow him to learn from his experiences if possible add yours but consider his experience what is happening to him when he or she is losing and if there is no matching for this learning from your experiences learning from his experiences if there is no matching for these two then the anxiety starts anxiety starts with the coach also anxiety starts with the participant also and once anxiety is aroused then there is a collapse so do not allow do not have more gaps in learning from experiences we have set the realistic goals to be self confident i know i can reach this i know i can outperform this okay that is a realistic goal and to say this i have a courage to say this okay like like there are many sayings i am a good husband i have permission of my wife to say this you understand this i am a good husband and to say this i have permission of my wife i hope you understand okay you need to be courageous need to accept things face the challenges okay when something is wrong then you need to tell your coach sir this is wrong here not that what i have experienced during my uh, sessions it's not necessary that you also experience the same thing so you should be you having courage enough to say no also and keep learning continuously it's it's a continuous process learning is a continuous process keep learning that enhances your self confidence live fully this is a very very big term live fully means what any idea about this live fully anybody from psychology physical education 
you had one paper i believe okay leafly that a call have you heard about carl rogers name existentialist carl roger okay i just tell you leafly means he, he be called be useful to others yes sir be useful to others no 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 be useful I, I, to I, others no it is for the self leafly no. means full become a fully functioning individual now i have so much of energy i have so much of talent but i am not investing fully there are many people functioning like this and it is you who identify the energy in the student the fully fun many times it is you who can enhance the confidence of the participant the the the, the, the student what do you say are you can do i have this confidence you can do it you know this you can do i believe you know sugar also you can do is the one word which makes that individual to accept things ninga antira sir na maadla sir you think i can do this a maadaya nin kai laagutade yes sir i'll do it okay i know there may be people who do not understand language but i'm just giving one example here okay so live fully to yourself value simplicity what is the simplicity be natural what you are be that don't try to imitate don't try to copy don't try to have uh, extra efforts to show that who you are just be simple value simplicity and welcome change It's very simple this will enhance an individual's self confidence now what can be done to raise the goal it is classified goals can be classified into three classifications one the short term goal two the mid term goal three the long term goal most of our sports personalities as i have seen they start in the middle school they compete in the many events we don't make them master in any specific event we make them kho kho player also we make them kabaddi player also we make them participate in many events but we will not make them one expert we want them everywhere because our team is this also our team is there also our team is there also like this we have different things no we need to catch hold of that person that individual it's up to you to identify you need to identify the potentials as coaches identify fix the goals if this student is going to be with us okay if he is enters into school high school then he is going to be with us for 3 years if he enters college he is going to be with us for 5 years it's not just 3 years when he enters into college he will be with us for 3 plus 2 okay so you have every right to set a goal about an individual one participant if he is willing to a good sports person if you come across then you need to set goals for individual individual a short term goal which is for up to one year mid term goal up to three years long term goal up to five years if this is done then i think probably it is very easy that we can get more more gold medals in olympics no olympic player and now it in in our system we have long term goals here please please have this yes any comment any comment Hmm. I hear somebody saying that something. If it is not for this, then we'll go ahead. The okay. method is itself. Okay. Goals can be longer than five years, but then they become the purpose of life. Then you know this. Okay. All cannot become coaches. Please remember, all cannot become coaches. and it should be your long term goal only then you can think of becoming a coach goals can be longer than 5 years but then they become their purpose of life 
now that you are here as rc participants this is a purpose of life this is a purpose of life and having a purpose is very important because without one without any purpose it is possible to develop tunnel vision where we are only obsessed with achieving our goals nothing else and this is where many of us fail and we get frustrated in the process so that should not happen and goals must be balanced goals must be balanced how do we do this balanced goals now I, it's a very simple example we have shown there our life is like a wheel with six spokes do you have family you have family is there anybody who says that i don't have family is there anyone who can say that i don't yes. have family yes. huh? who says i don't have family we all have ha ah, we all have very good i just was just waiting for the response okay we all have families our loved ones are the reasons to live and make living once these are i am talking about goals must be balanced now you are you, are, you need to think in terms of your family also second your financial this financial thing represents our career and the things that money can buy the things that money can buy anything here any representation any comment the physical our health without which nothing makes sense nowadays your physical health is a very important and i am telling you mental health is very important than the physical health although physically you may be strong but if you are mentally weak then i think there will be a problem okay mental health represents the knowledge and wisdom that is important please keep remember this and your sociability every individual in an organization and he or she has a social responsibility without which society starts dying every one of us have a social responsibility every one of us has a social responsibility and if you do not have any social responsibility then it is of no use for you enri shantra jo shantra jo ha kelskota idira okay fine the spiritual that is ultimate the spiritual okay our value system represents the ethics and the character is another thing which we need to balance in our goal setting now many people ask when when they tell the bio data okay how many medals you have won you talk about the quality or you talk about the quantity you talk about the quality or you talk about the quantity when it comes to health of an individual we lose our health in the process of earning money and then we lose money in trying to regain the health hana vanna galislike aarogya vanna haal maadkolteve aarogya vanna sari maadkolakke hana vanna matte vega maadu it's a, it's going like this okay so social responsibility is very important thing. and what is the social responsibility any idea social responsibility please let me not tell you social responsibility andre no please contribute what is social responsibility what uh, we contribute in our society ha huh? what what knowledge we are having hmm if suppose i am an uh, elite player Mm. definitely i would like to see uh, my juniors uh, to follow me mm. okay and i am guiding them accordingly what else first of all don't spoil the nature very good huh to and follow uh, regulations to follow putting a waste putting Rules a waste in a particular place okay general. okay okay in general hmm. i am recording this i am writing these things what next 
Any other statement, comments? We lead the healthy. Sir, we lead the healthy lifestyle and responsibility in the other people of the society. Very good, very good. Huh. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll just give you some hints for this. Social responsibility. Okay. Scrutinizing the goals. Social responsibility here is scrutinizing the goals. How do you scrutinize the goals set by you? Okay. Now look at this. Before you just social responsibility, think of that. Ask these questions to yourself. Is it truth what I'm going to do? Is it truthful? Is there anything truthfulness in this? Then, is it fair to all concerned? Is it fair to me alone? Or is it fair to everybody concerned? Okay. Although we select a captain, it's a different thing. Captain is a just a group leader, but he has to perform on par with others also. Okay. It is fair. I mean, is it fair to all concerned? It should be concerned to everybody, not one or two. Will it get me a goodwill? Goodwill is a very difficult term to earn. But by doing this, will I get a goodwill? Will it get me good health? Wealth, of course. Peace, of course. Peace of mind is a very difficult task. Unless you match with your values, the question of peace uh, peace of mind, it does not occur. Is it consistent with my other goals of life? Can I commit to myself? You know, all these things have to be kept in mind when we talk about social responsibility. Now, all the coaches have one social responsibility. Can you tell me what is that? All coaches have a definitely at least one social responsibility to fulfill. What is it? To install uh, ethical values. Okay. Impartiality. Who said that? Who said that? Ramesh Kanans. Impartiality. Who said that? Who is that? Ramesh Kanan. Okay. That's very good. Now, this is where it's very important. Now, becoming coach is a very easy probably sometimes, but being impartial is a very difficult task because this is a social responsibility. Do not lean towards for some reason or the other reason. You need to be impartial. Very good response. I appreciate that response. Now your goal should be consistent. How consistent? Consistent with our values. What are our values? What are our values? Values, and these are the goals that lead to the purpose in life. Now you tell me, what are these values we should think of when you are in the sports line? Please don't, don't guess, just, just tell me, because I also want to learn many things from you. I am also a teacher. Playing a fair game. Sir? Playing a fair game. Okay. Agreed. Agreed? Honesty. Honesty. Sincerity, truthfulness. Huh. Very good. Moral values like... Uh... Now, I understand these words. I understand these words, but I want the meaning of this. Can anyone tell me? I understand these words. I'm asking the meaning for all these things. Somebody said sincerity. Somebody said honesty. Now, these words I can understand very easily. Anybody can understand, but what does it mean? If the fault occurs when you're playing and it's not noticed, you should be voluntarily, uh, you should uh, tell them that you have done that. And in case of cricketers, if they are out also, sometimes they only walk out. That's yes. honesty. Mm -hmm. 
in case of cricketers in case of kabaddi kabaddi many many times this happens in case of kabaddi in case of hockey also many times football any game for that matter as you rightly said the person should be honest himself to exhibit this honesty i agree with this somebody said sincerity i don't know what is this i understand this word what is the sincerity for sportsman time management i have i have put to see i am asking to you for certain reasons you must have seen that the whole chart and this slide i have put only the questions that means sincerity could be also ha huh. sincerity could be also how sincere you are towards your uh, practice session monora hmm. being on time for practices practicing perfectly according to the rules uh, and regulations who oh, yes of uh, uh, responsibility coach expects you to do uh, somebody said something else responsibility sir responsibility hola time management time management okay rules and regulations following rules and regulations already have been explained anything new to opponent something new respecting opponent Hmm. model to others yes okay. motivated to okay. participant we'll see now sir motivated yes i'll get back to this leadership okay fine fine obedient to the other teammates yes these are very difficult things you are telling too many difficult things we difficult to understand sir. we will give proper response ha huh? listening and understanding yeah that's what i am telling you are telling too many things but very difficult ones very difficult ones you know i am telling you sir solving problems listening and understanding we have to give proper response to players and others right value ness okay okay fine fine so so solving problems fine not solving solving problems okay fine now look at this that yes ma'am understanding situations not audible something you said please repeat it could be listening and understanding okay okay you are talking about life skills the whole thing you are talking about life skills only you must probably have already got uh, any class on life skills anyway it's fine now how can life experience be made easier the experience that he undergoes how do we make it easy when i told you by learning and understanding what is referred as closing pyramid concept or process we call this what is this how do we do this now we have something here we need to discuss then we'll go for the next one we need to discuss then we'll go for the next one about the attitudes i told you attitudes ha huh? tell me ask me the questions let us clarify each other go back you have i'll i'll go back to the original slides first slide we'll start with this if there are no doubts then we can go for another session okay we started with this you remember yeah please go ahead what is it that you see here what is that you need have a clarification ha huh. clear goal in mind a clear goal in mind a clear goal in mind okay so that means you are talking about the first one okay here hmm. when it becomes clear i have given you five days only after that you can feel that your goal will be clear not otherwise it's a direction dedication determination discipline and deadlines this makes you reach the goal i told hmm then what else which one
i think you fail to understand this part where i talked about here do you have any questions here i expected more interaction here where i failed to get from you hmm sir sir actually hello sir what is the image broken broken egg ah voice is breaking i know hello sir is my voice breaking why you put that uh, broken egg image what who is talking raja sir sir ha huh? why you put that image that broken egg ha uh, the broken, broken egg. egg broken egg he is talking about a broken egg sir this one this yes. one you are talking about yes yes okay very good very good question very good now you know i'll explain i'll explain i'll come back to that first we'll go for broken egg shall we go to broken egg hello yes sir. sir shall we go to broken egg first yes sir yes sir ah, okay now yes sir broken egg i have shown with the purpose that determination it is written there you can see that no determination do you see that yes sir okay now uh, 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 you know you know hindi also or kannada we go on to the hindi when any bird when any bird when it lays eggs okay now eggs are given certain amount of heat so that the bird comes out itself okay now before that you know if we, before the time duration if you are in hurry you know i want the bird immediately or i want the bird in a short term then if it is not properly uh, nurtured you will not get that bird if you open uh, the bird to help to come out then i think the bird will die at the earliest possible because it has not come out with this which means you need to have that determination to do things you cannot force fully do anything to anyone to learn things do not do anything forcefully that is what it indicates they should have the determination to do things you cannot just bring somebody to sports field and ask him to do this event that event and all you can't do this it should come from within and it should be their determination to come out you understand there are good number of stories on this you understand next okay next you are talking about this part yes, breaking breaking you. breaking breaking you are talking about part you are talking about part i think sir all ah, right okay yes sir shall we go shall we go for understanding what is this attitude i need to give more in ah yeah this attitude if you can contribute something then i'll tell you further attitude shall i go ahead or you want to say something go ahead sir go ahead sir okay now this attitude it uh, the words looks very simple for you but it has got lot of uh, uh, understanding here i'll just define in simple words what is this attitude attitude is a simple a complex mental state which involves beliefs feelings values and predispositions to act in certain way i repeat attitude is a complex mental state involving your beliefs your feelings your values and your dispositions to act in certain way this is what the coaches normally have to think in terms of 
their attitude is very important it is only on the basis of your attitude structure you are going to build another personality another sports person so knowing about this attitude is a very important this is where i talk about productive use of the resources the resources here that you think in terms of not physical resources when it comes to attitude attitude resources are your beliefs your feelings your values your predisposition your dispositions what does it mean what does it mean here a favorable or unfavorable towards some object some place or a person i have seen many of my friends when you become a hockey player you hate cricket when you become a cricket player you hate hockey when you become kabaddi player you don't want coco when you become coco you say hockey it is kabaddi like this now we have favorable and unfavorable evaluative reactions and this evaluative reactions also build up your attitude a game in bidri e game in bidri what about that game oh this game oh that game no no question of favorable or unfavorable no it talk but attitude talks about this how you develop this your attitude favorability or unfavorable how you changed these things through interactive sessions through your thoughts through through your thought process through your emotions feelings and the behavior so based on this we need to go by no go by understanding or explaining things now if suppose it goes by your events when i am not against any event for that matter because uh, although i am a hockey player but events when it, when it comes to every coach has certain favorable emotional feeling towards his game you agree every coach has certain favorable feeling or emotion or value towards the event that he is do you agree yes yes, yes. Uh, so that that is a very strong point oh, once you say okay. favorable there can be unfavorable situations also there can be unfavorable situations also so under such circumstances how do you demonstrate yourself caring and kindness of both the events whether the event which is favorable to you the event which is unfavorable to you how do you treat these two events you need to have this attitude for that attitude here i am talking in terms of feelings emotions values and dispositions i have already defined this okay so when it comes to this you need to your attitude you need to demonstrate caring and kindness this is a very big word and everybody practices but very difficult to understand this caring and kindness demonstrating caring and demonstrating kindness can anybody demonstrate give demonstration for this caring demonstration you get lot of opportunities for this demonstration for caring and kindness as a sports person so when our trainee got injured mm -hmm. get injured we, we, we can uh, assist uh, him uh, he or she to some hospital or sending her to to the first aid mm -hmm. that is medical care yeah a fine agree but uh, you are not doing anything there you are only taking them to hospital i got your point you are taking them to hospital fine how do you demonstrate if, uh, uh, ha yes uh, if a trainee is going to uh, through a rough patch ha. then we can actually console him or uh, say he okay, can get through this just motivate try and motivate the person the trainee uh, yeah yeah you are you are on, on on the track now you can further go ahead you are on track uh maybe providing him with uh, opportunities to do that to prove himself for her 
You must have seen. Before Sorry, no. Start, yeah, you want to say something? Uh, sir, when a player is injured, huh? when a player is injured, the opponent team, without taking any advantage, they stop the play and uh, by kicking the ball out. Hmm. So they call for medical attention from the referee, even though the referee may not have noticed the event. No, that is fine. I, I, I am telling you. This Mr. Lecher, the about... students clearly huh? explain the skill. Ha. Huh. Okay. Clearly explain first verbal explanation, hmm. then demonstration, the practical demonstrate, hmm. practically demonstrate the students. Now imagine, imagine you have a student who is doing extremely very good. Okay, extremely very good. But when you take him to the field on the day of competition, the final rounds or final age, he collapses. He says, no, I can't do. Now here starts your caring and kindness. I'm talking with reference to attitude, not with reference to help or assistance to taking medical care, giving medical care and all. Okay, now you tell me, Demonstrating caring here is showing kindness, making willingly share his emotions and feelings. This is important. Why he says that he can't do? Why he says that no, he cannot perform further? So you need to think in terms of his emotions and feelings. Sometimes he becomes sad. Sometimes he says, disapproval, no sir, I can't, I can't, I will not. Okay, these, these situations we have come across. Have you come across or not? At the last minute, yes, you sir. know, as a, as a coach, you know that he can perform, but he fails to understand himself. Then he collapses. He says, no, I can't do. I don't want. I don't want to go further. So here we need a coach who can understand, put him back on enthusiasm, understand his emotions, feelings, understand his sincere interest in the participating of the game. So this you need to think in terms of when you talk about demonstrating caring and kindness. Okay. So focus on this. Then we have sharing the responsibility. Any event, any participant, if he or she is participating, you think only the person who is participating is important? Coach has no role to play. Now, how does this role, resp sharing responsibility comes here? Are you there? How does the sharing responsibility come here? Sharing of responsibility. When the player is unable to perform, okay. he should help him, pep him up through words and then make him play better. Mm. Partially you were right. Sir, as ah, a yes, coach, sir. Mm. when during the match, mm. as a coach, responsibility I have to take, only it is not physically, physically if I am not active, Mm. Players or inside the court, they are active. But mm. as a coach, I have to take, technically we have to take some time out. So it, it is my responsibility to that, uh, whether my students are get tired. Mm. Uh, so here comes my responsibility during the match, I'm telling. Yeah, this is this is what exactly, this is what exactly. Like Otherwise, you must have seen. Okay? The others, students. When, when, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Pep the students. Uh -huh. motivates the words through the players and the encourage words we have to more encourage words that is fine we, uh, we are talking about sharing the responsibility it's a, say he, he is exact, he, you know that it's a winning horse you know that it's a winning horse but this horse is not running you need to share the responsibility I think I'll just give you one example although it is not their responsibility responsibility shared in a different way. Say, uh, in athletics, normally we see uh, in the track, in the final round, the press person with the 
camera he also keeps running without knowing that he is running and the inspiration that he gets is a very interesting thing okay sometimes sometimes he runs faster than the athlete who is running this we have seen okay now here what he says is i am responsible for covering this event i am responsible for covering this event he is also responsible but it doesn't mean that coach also should run along with him it is not that coach should have that emotional bonding feelings with the, his student where we make those with the help of those sources we make the individual to be reach the goal or success this is where we talk about sharing the responsibility and many times you must have seen if the student if the participants wins the game the first greeting will be to the coach you agree people first greet to the coach yes sir the, because he is responsible for this win for this win for this success it is the coach who is important so sharing responsibility is another thing a very important thing for a coach further is sensibility in accepting diversity sensibility in accepting diversity have you come across this we call this otherwise empathy empathy everybody knows how do you define this empathy yes please empathy who can contribute being sympathetic no sympathy and sympathy and self uh, yes madam madam maria said something uh, sympathy and empathy are two different things sympathy ah, that is why i am asking think, empathy not sympathy uh, empathy is you putting yourself into the other person's uh, situation no that is a definition no i don't want that how do you explain this how do you demonstrate this you are right as far as the answer is correct it's right but i don't know the answer as a sports person empathy how do you explain this it's like uh, understanding the problem of the player huh is uh, to what he is going through and all hmm so just understanding him on that particular situation hmm shailesh yes yes sir shailesh kya yeah. you are 100% correct your yeah. response is a very good response i'll repeat yeah. i'll repeat here sensibility in accepting diversity is first sensitivity to his background acceptance encouragement critical evaluation approaches i am talking here about the diversity of the sports personalities nowadays this question arises a lot the diversity okay let me not go into the details of that but i am just telling you this diversity has to be considered irrespective of from where what background the student comes as a sports person since he has a talent it has to be exhibited that's all it has to be proved that's all Okay, I'm torso now. Hmm. Just a minute. I will show you some clipping. 